Hello, it's Bridget here, one of the regular Pilates teachers for Silverfit. I hope everybody is well today. Um, we're going to do a set focusing on our joint health today. So we'll just kind of get the joints moving, nice and lubricated, very good for our structural health. And it's quite a nice relaxing set as well. So uh, we will just start rolling out the shoulders. And then roll them the other way. And we'll place our hands on our hips and just heel toe the feet so they're a little bit wider than hip width apart. And then soften the knees and have a little bounce. Feels quite nice. And then as we exhale, we're gonna take, um, we're gonna scoop the abdominals and imagine you're hugging a massive beach ball. This is what it looks like from the side. And then as you inhale, press into the feet, lengthen the arms behind you, crown of the head up to the ceiling. And then repeat, this is your exhale, grabbing that big beach ball, inhale, lift and lengthen. We'll repeat that twice more. So you get this nice ripple through the spine, give yourself a little shake. And then we're gonna step the feet together and we're just gonna Slide the hands down towards the knees, okay? And they, it doesn't, they don't have to go as far as the knees, but um, get as close as you can. And watch your posture, we don't want the bum sticking out, so just check in with your lower back. And I'm just gonna gently circle the knees. So you want to kind of get this smooth action rather than a poppy, clicky one. And nice and slow, nice and controlled. Change direction. And that's the last one. Draw the abdominals in and start to roll up. Give those shoulders a little roll. And we're gonna place the hands on the shoulders and you can just heel toe your feet so that they're hip width apart again. And the elbows come to almost touching. And then we're gonna just circle for three, two, and one. And then change direction with those circles for three, two, and one okay now see if you can circle one arm backwards and one arm forwards at the same time for three two one and then change it for three two one don't worry about that too much if it, if it wasn't successful the first time it gets better with practice okay and we're going to step the feet um a couple of feet apart and we're going to reach into the fingertips and just start to shrug and then release the shoulders and we're going to reach over to one side. And as you're reaching over to one side, you're, you're activating the obliques to kind of hold you back. And then over to the other side. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, and now your left arm is going to circle. And change direction. And then we reach over to the other side. Remember, we're drawing back through the obliques, so we don't want to kind of uh, clunk over. It's quite, it's quite a powerful position. Circling that arm, three, two, one, and change direction. Really opening out those shoulders. You can keep the elbows bent if that feels nicer. Okay, and then we're here, and we just swirl the arms back and heel toe the feet so that they're hip width apart. And I'll just take this sideways um, view again. So we're gonna do some roll down. So we're gonna to inhale to prepare. And as you exhale, soften the knees and tuck your chin and just start to roll down. Vertebra by vertebra, keep those abdominals working. If you're tight in your legs, you will need to bend your knees, okay? Or soften your knees a bit more. Have a check of your feet, are your toes clawing in? Relax them, but plant them back on the floor. And now we just wobble and blobble the neck around, wobble and blobble the shoulders around. And then press your feet down, engage the abdominals, tuck your bum under and roll back up. So you might not have got down so low the first time or, or even the last time, it doesn't matter. You just wanna go by feel, but this is a nice one where we're starting to decompress the spine. So again, we go. So inhale to prepare, exhale, tuck your chin, and start to roll down. Remember, you can soften or bend your knees as much as you need to. If, if your legs are locked or tight, you're gonna end up like that. Okay, we don't wanna be bouncing. Okay, 
crochet and we're in that roll down and just make sure well let's do this one so we're going to interlace the fingers and just very gently rest our hands at the base of our skull so we're just adding a tiny bit of extra traction we don't want to be wrenching or tugging or anything like that nice bit of traction okay and then ooh, lovely stretch at the back of the legs release the fingertips to the floor or don't worry if you can't touch just they can be hanging and then we're going to start to play with the weight going forwards and the weight going backwards so you don't have to move very far to really feel the the tip of the weight the tip of the balance and then we're going to roll up again vertebra by vertebra by vertebra Give yourself a little shake. Same hands on hips. And you're just going to plant the ball of your right foot into the floor. And we're just going to circle out. So circling out the ankle, the knees and the hips. And this gives us a nice, um, it lubricates the joints. And we'll change direction. It gets that synovial fluid going. Okay. And we'll swap it over. You can do more of these. So, um, if you um, if you want to do more, just press the pause button and just do a few more, okay? And then change direction. Okay, give that one a shake. Just give the wrist a little roll. And then we're gonna interlace fingers and we're gonna do figure of eights with the hands. This is a bit of an odd one. <laughs> okay, and see if you can do it the other way. One way might feel quite natural, the other way might feel not natural at all. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it. It's like you're shaking water off your fingers. Okay, so um, we're going to come down onto the mat. So I'm just going to adjust my camera angle. So I'll meet down on the mat. Okay, that should be, that should be all right. So we're lying on our backs. And we're going to cross the right uh, ankle over the left thigh. So we're in our number four position. Now, I've just got a handy block here because uh, just to demonstrate, if, you're, if you notice that when you're lying on your back, you're tipping your head back and you're looking at the wall behind you, uh, it's useful to have a block or even some clothing just so you can put your head on it and it just gives your neck um, a nicer position. You don't want the neck compressing at the back of the neck. Okay, I actually don't need this, but you know, use one if you need to. And then we're going to place our right hand on the inside of our right thigh and we're just going to do some assisted hip openers so we're creating resistance between the hand and the thigh so you're not just doing that we want to create resistance so you're getting a little bit of a workout for the muscles as well as mobilizing the hip area and we'll do another three and we should be using the core here, so your other hand can go on the abdominals. Two and one. Okay, so we don't want to be sort of uh, wriggling around with this one. We're very dialed into those abdominals. So we'll stay in this position and we're going to place our head in our hands and we're going to inhale to prepare. And as we exhale, we're going to curl up and we're going to take a little rotation towards that knee. So it's left shoulder towards right knee. And then we'll inhale as we come back, waking up those abdominals. Exhale, curl and twist. Inhale, come back. Keep the movement really controlled. We'll do one more. And we'll hold it here. And then just see if you can reach across and we'll just pulse for five, four, three, two, one. And release. Good. Let's have a full body stretch. And then we'll do the other side. So we're going to cross the left over the right. Okay, so left ankle over right thigh. Flex that foot. Okay, so don't let the foot just be floppy. Flex it. That gives your knee a little bit of protection. It activates the muscles in the front of the leg. Okay, and then we've got our left hand on the inside of our left thigh. And we want to keep these abdominals strong so we're not wriggling around. And as you exhale, you're pressing the hand on the thigh. But you're creating resistance with the leg. And now the leg presses back on the hand, but you're still creating resistance in the arm. So if you find you're sort of um, slithering around on the floor, just activate these abdominals a little bit more or create more uh, oomph with your muscles. Okay, 
Okay, we'll do another three, two, and one. We'll hold it here. And now we've got our head and our hands again. And then just start to activate the abdominals. We want to imprint the spine a little bit and we'll inhale. And as we exhale, we curl and we twist. So you want to aim your shoulder towards your knee. Try not to do that. You don't want to go elbow to knee. You'll, you will feel the difference. One is a lot more effective than the other. So inhale, exhale, shoulder to knee. Squeeze, really get these abdominals working. Inhale, exhale, curl and twist and squeeze. And now we're reaching to the outside of that knee. Watch you're not popping that shoulder. So we don't want this, we want to keep the shoulder proud and pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it and release, lovely. So we'll do this stretch now. We'll have our feet wide, we'll knock our knees together. We'll have our arms down by our side and we're just gonna windscreen wide from the knees from side to side. And then we're gonna tuck our knees into our chest and we'll have a roll from side to side in this position. And if you want to, you can come into a happy baby. So uh, with the legs, it's like you're walking your feet on the ceiling and your knees are coming in towards your armpits. With this one, you don't want the bum coming off the floor, okay? So uh, the tighter you are, the closer to your centre you'll need to hold. If you're very limber, you might be able to hold your feet, but look what happens to me. So this isn't good. Uh, I'm somewhere about here. Okay, and then we're just doing that little rock. And then we're going to put the feet on the floor one at a time. So we've got our hips and our knees and our feet all in line and our arms are down by our sides. And we're going to do, we're going to draw the knees into the chest. And then release. And then the other side. And then release. Now, as always, we want to engage the core abdominals here. So we're not stressing the quads and the hip flexors. If you feel the, the hip flexors are here, the quads are here, the legs, they should be gripping, okay? The legs should be feeling very light because we're using these muscles as opposed to these muscles. Well, that's where the emphasis is. You can make it more demanding by having your head, neck and shoulders off the floor. So if you want to do that, go for it. And we'll just do one more. So the abdominals should be nice and warm by now. And then we're going to tuck the knees into the chest again. And if you want to, peel your head, neck and shoulders off the floor. So you're, you're in your own strength here. If you prefer, you can pop your head on a ball, on a block, on, on a book. A couple of books even is absolutely fine. Okay, but we're here. I'm just going to work with my own strength. And I'm just going to shoot my left leg away. And then I'm going to swap. And you've got this sort of push-pull as you're pulling one thigh in towards you and you're pushing the other leg away. And the next one is our last one. And then release. So that's quite demanding. Okay, and if things feel too demanding, just stop and take a break. So with this one, for example, instead of shooting the leg away, you could just do that. So you're just doing one part of the exercise. You can always break these exercises down. Okay, so uh, the legs come up in the air, like so. And now we're gonna just rotate slightly at the hips, okay? So it's this external rotation. And so the heels are together, it's a little bit like Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. And their toes are slightly fanning away from each other. And you're gonna press the balls of the feet up towards the ceiling as you draw these abdominals in. So it's quite a strong, powerful feeling already. If you're really tight in your hamstrings, you might have to have your legs at an angle, which puts additional load on the abs. Um, or uh, if you prefer, just soften the knees. Okay, now we're gonna go for Charlie Chaplin feet. So just fan those toes out even more, Charlie Chaplin feet. And then as we inhale, you're going to do a little plie. So the knees are out to the side. And as you exhale, you're pressing through your heels. And just finish it off, little squeeze at the end. Okay, I'm just gonna re-angle myself so you can see it a little bit better here on the legs. 
plie and then press the, pressing through the heels press through those heels and we'll do one more this is quite difficult you should be feeling it <laughs> okay and then press through those heels hold it hold it hold it watch your neck we don't want to be all scrunched in the neck just hold it five four three two one and release give your legs a shake okay and then the feet go onto the floor one at a time so um the shoulder bridges great for the spine uh, it's really they're really good for the uh, glute strength which helps to stabilize the hips and protect the lower back this is why we do the glute bridge for the work in the glutes the bum muscles so we will we're going to start with a tilt so we're just going to tuck the tailbone under really lengthen the spine from the tail to the crown and then just start to peel up vertebra by vertebra so you want to get this really nice articulated movement one vertebra at a time use your bum muscles okay we're using our bum muscles to keep us supported if, if the glutes aren't working here we'll kind of collapse we'll go a little bit saggy um the other thing to remember is that we don't want the ribs leading the way so we don't want the ribs hanging out we want to kind of be a rear uh, rear strength here okay we've got some the action is behind us and then we come back down again and when you're ready to go again we're going to tuck the tailbone initiate it with a little pelvic tilt and then we just follow through peeling off nudging the tailbone then the lower back then the middle back and then the upper back okay so we we are in a straight line between our knees and our shoulders and this is a glute bridge okay we're using the glutes we want to focus on them and then release back down again vertebra by vertebra so we're massaging out the spine as we roll up and roll down so we're going to do two more and your option now if you want to is to do one like this so you're crossing the right leg over the left okay like in the number four position we, we did this at the beginning when we we're doing those hip openers okay so it's your option if you want to do one like this so we inhale and as we exhale we're rolling up and if you want to do more than one press the pause button and do a few more and then we come back down again okay and if you're doing that way we'll do one on the other side as well inhale to prepare exhale tucking your tailbone under and then lifting off you can use that uh, standing foot to give yourself a little bit of power and you might not come all the way and just watch out for this you don't want the ribs taking over here so your bum muscles got to be working really hard and then roll back down and we're trying not to um tip the hips one of the hips might want to sink a little bit shake that out we're going to roll over onto your side and then we're going to meet on hands and knees and if you want to you can just roll over onto your hands and knees okay be careful with the more vigorous rolling if you've got um any spinal like osteoporosis or arthritis or anything like that uh, forwards backwards rolling isn't ideal if you've got a condition like that okay so we are on our hands and knees and we're going to do some cat cow stretches so we will exhale as we do the cat stretch inhale tail up and let the rest of the spine just ripple through this is our cow stretch exhale inhale we'll do one more and then we're back to our hands and knees and your left hand is just going to come across in front of your right hand and then we're just going to reverse the hip in the opposite direction get a lovely side body stretch there come back to hands and knees and now your right hand goes in front of the left hand and then reverse the hips back in the opposite so it's a sort of diagonal the hips are going back into the right the arms are front and to the left and we are here okay so we're going to take a little like we're going down in a press up but we're going to stay down so just present your chest to the floor and we are here 
and our forearms are here. So we've got our um, forearms in line with the side of the mat. We're trying not to be in this position. Get that, you, you wanna be nice and proud around the shoulders. Okay, so we're here and we're pressing the tops of the feet onto the floor and the hips onto the floor. And we've got our, as always, our P under our nose that we're rolling forwards, rolling forwards, rolling forwards. And then we start to lift off in a smooth line. So we're not just kind of springing up. You can add a light bit of pressing action on your forearms and also get this sense that you're drawing the elbows towards the bottom of the mat. It's not a physical movement, it's an, it's an energy. And then we release that down. We're not head butting down. <laughs> you want to come up, you want to go down the way you came up, but in reverse. Okay, and then we're going to repeat that. P under the neck. These are so good for us, these back bends. They're very, very good for us, very good for our posture. Watch that you're not up here with your shoulders. You want to allow for the um, shoulders just to glide back and down in a, in a natural way, not in a forced way. And we'll release back down again. So now you might be ready to lift the forearms as you come up. So we inhale and as you exhale, we've got P under the nose still. And then the forearms, if your back feels okay with it, lift the forearms up. You'll notice there's more of a load now. It's, it's harder. Your feet might want to float off the floor. Don't let them They come back down. And we're going to do one more. Inhale, exhale. Stick with the level that your body is happiest with. It might not be the level you're happier with, but just listen to your body here. Okay, now if you're all right with this, we're going to sweep the arms behind us. We're going to interlace the fingers, which doesn't matter if you can't do that. You can just zap back into the fingertips. And then we're going to lift the legs. So lift your thighs. So we've got the tippy toes going in one direction and the crown of the head in the other direction. Shoot your hands back towards the bottom of the mat. Present your sternum forwards. And we'll breathe for five, four, three, two, one. And release. And I think from here we'll come into child's pose. Now, if you can't get your backside on your heels, don't worry about it. You can do this position instead. This is called a puppy dog. It's a very, very nice stretch as well. Child's pose is a little bit more relaxing, but it doesn't feel very relaxing if it hurts you. So just take your pick. And then we're gonna come back onto our hands and knees. And we're gonna do, this is my favorite one for the fascia of the back and just really kind of getting this nice controlled twist around the spine. As we, as we inhale, the right arm sweeps up. And as we exhale, we thread the needle. Keep those abdominals working. We don't want to collapse. Inhale. So we're really expanding the chest. Fill up the lungs. Exhale. Squeeze all the air out. One more. Inhale. Exhale. And we're back on our hands and knees. And we're going to do the other side. So inhale as the left arm goes up. Control twist through the spine. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Scoop through. Inhale. Exhale. This is our last one. And then we're on our hands and knees. We're going to tuck the toes under. Press yourself into a downward facing dog. So this is another one. If you've got really tight uh, hamstrings and you try to keep your legs straight, you'll be more in this position. So soften the knees, butt right up. So your tailbone is aiming up towards the ceiling. You're this kind of ski slope in your spine. So we're, primarily this is a, a spine stretch and then you can address the backs of the legs. And what's really nice here is just to pedal through the feet especially as we're working on our joints, so just lubricating those joints. And then why not try some foot variations so you can go a little bit pigeon-toed and you get a nice stretch in the sort of side um, ankle area, some side calf area. And then we're going to go for Charlie Chaplin feet, just to change the focus again. We're going to walk the feet in and then we're going to take a little curtsy down onto the mat. And I am going to get my block here now. <coughs> Sorry, because I've got tight hips. 
So um, if, you, if you need that lift for your hips, go for it. So we're here and I'm going to have my legs in this wide V shape. So you'll notice if you're really tight in your hips and you try and sit on the floor, you could, all, you could end up like this. We want to have a nice long spine, okay? So you want to be nice and proud in your spine, really straight. We don't want to start off like this. We're controlled. And then we're going to aim our right hand towards our left foot. And as we're doing that, we're drawing the abdominals in. And then we reach up. And then we go left hand towards right foot. And then inhale as you reach up. And then we're going to just alternate. Now you might think, I've got a spare hand here, I don't know what to do with it. Your other arm is going to reach back now. I'm going to just change direction. Change angle, sorry, so you can see. So we've got one arm forwards, one arm backwards. Try to keep your legs still. So just keep going with that, but try not to shuffle the legs around. Try and keep them still. If you're feeling a little bit more advanced, get rid of your block, and I'm going to show you a progression. So we roll back. And then we come back again, and as you're rolling up, you start to get into that reach, and then back to centre, roll down. You don't have to come all the way down, you can come part down, and then roll up, and then reach. So we've got it all going on here. We've got strength, we've got coordination, we've got um, the articulation, we've got the control. We've got breathing, which hopefully everybody is still breathing. You inhale as you roll down, and you exhale as you roll up. Okay, I'm gonna make this one the last. And then we're here. Now I'm gonna get my block back again. We're gonna do a couple of spine stretches. So with this one, we're gonna reach forwards, and we're gonna roll the shoulders back and down, and as we exhale, we're going to reach forwards and we're going to flex those feet and we're going to draw the abdominals back. So the fingertips are going forwards as the belly button is going backwards and we've got this nice C curve in the spine. And then inhale, sit up, let the shoulders settle. <coughs> and then we'll repeat that. Exhale, reach forwards, really draw those abdominals back. And then sit up. And now we're going to change the focus of the back stretch. So we're going to bring it higher up the back. So we're going to reach up, like we're reaching to that bar, and keep your spine straight to um, wear, say, the bra strap or if you wear a heart rate strap. <coughs> so keep the spine straight until to that point. And then we're going to go up and over. So it's like we're sort of diving. And we've got the stretch in the higher portion of the spine. And then we reach up again. And then we do that one more time. And you can still flex the feet as you reach over because that will give you more intensity. And then we reach over and just shake out the arms. You can swirl and whirl them around a little bit, it's quite nice. And we'll face the front again. And come into a comfortable sitting position now. So it might be cross-legged, it might be not cross-legged, so just take your pick. And then we're gonna do some very gentle neck circles. So we'll start off with chin to chest. And then just scrape your chin over towards your left shoulder. And then you've got ear to shoulder. And then roll the chin back. Scrape the chin over towards your right shoulder. Ear to shoulder. And then roll it back. And now we're just going to go through with those rolls. So we're just rolling the head round. Head rolls, neck circles. I don't know what you call these but they're these ones. And then change direction. We don't wanna be uh, doing this too quickly. Okay, anything to do with the neck, just really treat yourself kindly here. You will hear some strange noises, I'm sure. Okay, we're back to center. And now we're just going to bring our right ear to our right shoulder. And you can place your hand on your head just to give it like the lightest amount of assist. You don't want to be pulling or wrenching. And you're just going to pivot your head so you're looking down towards the shoulder. Pivot your head so you're looking up towards the ceiling. You're looking forwards. Use your hand strength to bring your head back. That feels nice. 
and then we've got left ear to left shoulder and then again just use your hand and, and it's you're not there's not that going on it's just a light assist okay and you get this lovely stretch in the side of the neck and if it doesn't feel lovely you can ease off okay so don't kind of force it if it's not working for you and then we pivot the head so we're looking at our shoulder we pivot the head so we're looking towards the ceiling and then use our hand oh sorry come back to center and then we use our hand strength just to bring the head back putting your head back good and then we just roll out the shoulders and roll them out the other way if you've got cross legs swap the cross of your legs and we'll place the left fingertips down on the floor and we're going to reach up so we're really getting that nice side body stretch reach try not to lift your bum off the block or the floor so you're really anchored through your sit bones and then we'll swoosh the arms around and then we'll reach up and then we reach over to the side and then we swoosh the arms around and we'll do that again it feels so good reaching up over to the side swoosh reaching up over to the side and then swoosh and we're going to place our hands on our thighs so thighs near the knees and as we inhale, you're just gonna present your sternum forwards and we want to keep our spine long so you don't wanna be tipping your head back. It's like you're shining your light here. And you can pull, so you can create a pulling action. And then as you exhale, we go in the other direction. So we're, we're scooping those abdominals in, we're getting a lovely expansion on the upper back and you can push your hands in. So we're pushing the hands as we do, it's a, it's a sitting cat cow. And then we're pulling as we present the chest forwards. We'll do a couple more like that. This is your exhale. This is your inhale. It's just, it's a cat-cow stretch, but just in a sitting position, which is why it probably feels really familiar. And then we're back to centre again. Now, um, if you're feeling like your joints are seizing up, just lean back, swap them over. In fact, you can, you know, shake anything out. We're just going to do a couple of swirls. Let's do them from the mermaid position if you can. If not, stick with this position. Otherwise, we'll have the feet going over to the right. And we're going to do three swirls in one direction. So three, two, and one. And then we're going to have the feet going over to the left. And then we're going to swirl in the other direction. So three, two, and one. So nice. And then we're just going to shoot the legs forwards and we're going to travel the hands down towards the feet for three, two, and one. We'll hold it here, we'll reach up and now we go the other way for three, for two. And on the last one, we're just going to hold it, okay, and just have a nice stretch here. So your hands might get to your feet, they may get nowhere near your feet, it does not matter. You just want to be feeling a nice stretch on the back of your leg. And then straighten up. We're going to circle the wrist, we're going to circle the ankles. And then we'll change direction. You can't see my feet, but I am circling my ankles. <laughs> okay. I need to have my camera higher up and further away. I've not got enough room yet. <laughs> Shake it out, spread your wings, palms together, give yourselves a clap. Thank you very much. This is number seven already, can you believe it? Um, so yeah, I hope you're enjoying the series and if you've got any suggestions, if you've got anything that you want me to work on, drop me a line or drop Silver Fitter line because it'd be great to know. Okay, namaste everyone. See you soon.